I was at a restaurant, um, Jason's Deli, on 10th and 14th Street about a week ago. And I went in there to get my normal salad and sandwich. The manager's special <laughs> is cheap. I like salad and you get half a sandwich just from the gym. So with a friend of mine who recently moved here from New York. So we're going inside, we're getting in line. And you know, I get used to people staring at me uh, strangely because of my appearance, either my physical appearance or the scar that's on my face. They, they stare and they, they look and they ask questions. And um, on this particular day, the cashier at the register, who I'd never seen before at that Jason's Deli, and after he took my order, he was a little kid. He was like, What's, what happened to your face? Now, I'm standing in this restaurant in line with my friend from New York. All these customers standing around, uh, people behind us in line. And everybody's really looking because they all want to know, how did your face get scarred the way it is? <laughs> Um, I dismissed the question and continued on re retrieving my uh, stuff to go get my salad and go to the salad bar. But it's interesting how the scar that's on my face, which has faded tremendously in the past 12 months and continues to fade uh, because of certain laser treatments and everything else under the sun I've been doing to it. The scar one day on my face won't be visible. It be it won't you won't be able to see it or you'll barely be able to see it. But the scar that took place in my mind and to my soul will be there forever. Whenever you suffer an injury like I did last year, yeah, you're heal. The body will heal. My face will heal. But it takes time for the inside of me to heal so that I can go back to feeling normal and living without. Um, when that accident happened, it opened my eyes to how fragile life is, how so many things in our lives we have no control over, things that we think that we have control over, but we really don't. Things happen and you can't do anything about it. And um, you live your life thinking that you'll never get hurt or injured. You could never, you could be in a car accident, fire, hurt like I was at a restaurant. Things happen that are so beyond our control. And then you have to live with it. You got to keep going forward. I've seen people who've, had, um, who've been in fires and their whole body, their skin was ravaged and destroyed. I've seen a lot of stuff that frightens me. And I, and it, after the accident, my eyes opened more to the possibilities of what can happen to a person. How, like I said, how fragile life really is. Nobody plans to get hurt. There's no one's planning to be in a car accident tonight or be inside a home and he catches fire or be sitting in a restaurant eating dinner and you get injured. I've learned a lot in the past 12 months. I've learned that not only is life fragile, but it's important to protect you as best you can because you don't know what may happen. I'm learning to accept life <laughs> for what it is. I'm learning, I'm learning to smile more, to laugh, to get out and enjoy life. Because we don't know what may happen tomorrow.
Yeah, I may have this scar on my face, but I'm not broken. My spirit was down for a little while, but it's now back alive and thriving. I'll be okay. My face will be fine. If you like my videos, please click like and share them with family members and friends. And thank you all for supporting me through some very tough periods of my life over the past few years. Thanks for being a friend, even though we may never ever have met. I appreciate the support and love I have received through YouTube and Facebook. Thank you all very much and have a good night.